Hi guys, um, I did have like my paintings recorded, but um, Pippi moved my camera and it just it messed up. So um, <laughs> I'll just come on and show you what I was doing. So basically, I've just painted these because I want to play with some found objects uh, with Stanton. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got these, I'm going to try and put them the right way up though. So we've got these painted pages, and I just painted just like we normal paint something that's acrylic paints. Um, don't get me wrong, they are a bit watered down, but it's still acrylic paints. So I'm just going to see what kind of. Do I want white or do I want black? I think white on the blues. Yeah, I think I'll do white on the blues and maybe black on the red. Uh, so I'll just put that one away. And I'm going to stamp and stuff on both sides because um, both sides will be shown. No fully shown, like one of the sides are not fully shown, but uh, for what I've got in mind, like both sides will be shown. So, yeah, so I am going to start just picking up some of my found objects um, I'm just kind of hoping that this works I don't think it's gone at all but oh it is a wee bit that's cool and what I'm doing is just a potato peeler and it's got a wee kind of pattern on the front side which is cool because I, I was just looking through it and I was like what have I got in here that I can use as found objects so I've got this I've got a uh, actual potato masher which I don't use and plus I'm going to be getting another one anyway I don't eat a lot of mashed potatoes so I don't use the potato masher um, so I can use it in my so I'm not doing it perfectly on both sides because well kind of because I don't know which side I'm actually going to show yet so I suppose I better do it roughly the same on each side there Yeah, so just look around your house, you know, cheap stuff like this. Um, I think this was only like a pound or something, so, and I've actually got two of these uh, potato peelers in, in the drawer. So I thought, well, I've got two, so I can use one of them at least. So, that's what I'm doing. Now my plan for these is to make them into little... I don't even know if I've got the other one handy. It's little envelopes for junk journals and stuff like that. So I've just kind of made one up. I think like I done one up, no glued it around yet. But as you can see, this bit's going to be showing, so it, it'll probably flip over. Um, but when it gets lifted, it'll be showing. But I want to try and make them so that um, I was going to try and attempt like look once I fit sort out all my stuff. Um, I was going to attempt maybe some like mini flow journals or something like that. So I was thinking that I could make these and then like fill them up with a few goodies, maybe you know an ATC or something, and then the person can like rip it apart and um, use it for whatever they want. If they want just the the part and paper, they can do that. You know what I mean? So. Obviously these bits will be glued down so they would actually need to like tear, tear it up to use it. Um, but I thought, you know, like people could use it as collage or, you know, if they want to rip it up and use it as collage, I might end up doing that. Be mine. I don't know. I'll just stick a few more on this side. That is cool. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Ha <laughs> ha! I like it! So I'll get the other one done. 
the same basically I'm going to just try and get some of them done more or less the same So yeah, that's what I'm kind of planning and doing anyway. Um, but I think like if I was to do a flow journal, it would be like a kind of junk flow journal. You know, like with junk stuff like scrap papers, painted papers. No, no, be like a big fancy thing with fancy pattern paper and stuff because I've not got any of that. So most of my paper I've got to make my own. So it'll be like painted papers and stuff like that. So. I thought this would be kind of ideal for it. Um, I really, even if I don't make full journals for anybody else, I want to kind of make a few for myself. Um, because, you know, paper takes up a lot of room. <laughs> um, so I wanted um, somewhere that I could just go into a book and pick out what I want, you know makes it a bit more manageable as well instead of me hunting around the house looking for certain papers that I've made so that way I can just keep them all in the one place so this is this paint used up more or less but it looks cool I'm trying to get like more of the tops because this is where like I don't, I'm not sure which way I'm going to do it yet but this is where the lid of the envelope, whatever you call it, I don't know, lid, the flap, the flap of the envelope is going to be is like near the top or the bottoms or whatever so I'm kind of trying to get these edges done a bit so that when it's, so it'll look kind of, obviously it's probably a bit shorter than that so maybe, so it's going to look kind of like this, so I want to add some more right to the edges so that um, they've got a bit on it. So that's what I'm doing guys. I'm just having fun playing, get, try to get back into my art again. So I'm enjoying just playing around and trying different things just to try and get back into it again. I'm going to be doing different things guys, I'm only using these potato things first, but I've got like, as I say, I've got a potato masher and stuff like that there as well, so get a bit more at the top. So don't worry guys, I'm not going to be using this um, for food or anything like that, the same with the potato masher, I'm not be using it as food, for food, so don't worry about that. In fact, to be honest with you, I didn't even think I've used any of these. <laughs> like, I've ever, ever used any of them. I may have used the masher once or something to make, to mash bananas, to make uh, banana bread, which turned out a total fail, by the way. But, um, <laughs> it wasn't, it didn't turn out the way that it was meant to, but I still used it anyway, still ate it. <laughs> <laughs> it was still nice enough for me, but it wasn't um, nice enough for anybody else, so. And I'm not just saying that because I wanted it all for myself, I'm just saying that it, it, it wasn't, um, I didn't think it was good enough to get anybody else, so I just ate it myself. So what I think I might do, I'm just trying to see what I've got over here for uh, food objects. So I've got Punchinella, but I don't think I've got any. Um, I don't think I've got any um, things to put on though, put, put it on, so I might need to improvise a bit, um, maybe just, no, that's not quite work is it, well that is a wee bit. So I might need to improvise a wee bit and just kind of use a baby wipe to put it on. I don't know. 
Pussy. Lawrence Wayne's a punch and he was all falling apart. But it's kind of working. Kind of working. when you need to improvise when you don't have any tools handy. <laughs> That's not working as good as I would have liked it to. I'm not really bothered too much about the edges because they're going to be getting cut a bit but this is how it looks so far. Not too bad. But... Um, it's just what happens when you've not got the tools. <laughs> so yeah. It's more like a big sport if you ask me but than a punch in the air thing, but are we rubbing it would work? I don't know. Does that work better? I kind of rubbing it works better I think than actually dabbing it on. I really like colours of this, it's looking cool. So yeah, rubbing it on it works better than I know I try and get some around the middle because the middle will be shown on one of the sides as well. Can you see a pretty breathing that mm, mm. Mm. Like, honestly, like the vet says it could just be her pudding, you know, because she does it mostly when she's relaxed, but I don't know, man, I worry about her sometimes because it's like, scary. And she makes that noise, like she just starts, like, sounds like she's wheezing and stuff and she's going to come and climb on top of this in a minute. extra paint off. And I don't know if you hear that dog as well, that's one neighbour downstairs his dog. Um works quite a lot. And believe it or not, it's not even directly below me. It's a, it's another house below it's the house below them. But you know it doesn't bother me. She meows and you know it doesn't really bother me but but it just shows you how like you probably can't even hear it but it just shows you how loud the dog actually is when you can hear it through another house but the the house down the stair for me has got a dog as well but I've not he actually heard them in a while so I don't know Yeah, definitely rubbing it gives a better effect than just dabbing it. So. See, it just shows you guys you don't always need expensive tools to create art. There you go, like, you can get um, makeup brushes, no, no makeup brushes, makeup sponges in a pound shop um, or dollar store or whatever. Um, or you can, you know, use a paper wipe. <laughs> but if you're using a paper wipe, I would definitely rub it rather than dab it. It just works better. There 
la go. Zelosite. So what else have we got that we can use? We have this thing. Don't know what it is. No got a clue. No sure. We have this. I did have another thing but I don't know where I put them. Oh wait, 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 I know where they are. Wait, wait. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Oh wait, wait, I forgot I need to do punch in your this side as well. Okay, let's just get this done quickly. And then I'll I think I'll just move on to the um The red one after this, and if I decide to come back to this, then I will. But I think these look good enough just for the punchinella and that um, thingy, the bob, whatever you call it, <laughs> um, potato peeler. So that side's been done, that side been done, yes, it is. Right, so these are these. Uh, they'll look better once they're all dry, but they'll still wait just now. So, both sides. And this one. And this side. So that's how my pages look on that side. And I'm going to just put this one just so this. This is going to be getting used as well as some kind of, I don't know, just a huge big envelope. So that'll be getting used as well. But I want to get some black paint because I think black will look good in the red. So I get some black paint in here and put it just here, maybe. Well, maybe I'll put it up here. And this is cool. I found these the other day. I just thought they were so cool. Look. So let's start. Look at that, isn't that cool? Look. Yeah, the middle's a bit blurry, but I'll fix that. I'll look at that. It'd be even cool if that like stays like that. Look. Isn't that cool? Show you it better on the second. Just just gonna take some of the paint off of here. Just gonna stamp it everywhere because I love it. show you it better than a second guys and I'm not really showing this but it just looks so cool and it cool I love it I love it love it love it Dinner. I just love that. I love the effect. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love it. Right, I'm just going to try and get this wee bit off though. And just put a couple of black dots on it as well. There we go. Maybe even just put some of these in amongst it. Very good at stamping, is it? I don't even know what that is, guys. But I don't think it's really that great at stamping, so I might just bin this because obviously I don't need it. 
Right, I'm just putting too much black on the other one now. But look at that, isn't that cool? Haha, -ha. I'll probably like play around with this and kind of make like another um I think this is gonna definitely be the inside because it's not really coloured enough. So I think this is definitely gonna be the inside. But I'm still gonna put these on it because it just looks cool. I don't know what end's gonna be the top, so I'm just gonna put it all round. I love it. I just love that. That is cool. So it'll be kind of folded up like this. Obviously it's going to be thinner because these sides are going to be... Or I could just... But I don't know where my stapler is, but I could just like... Sting these bits up and just make it like that. I don't know, but... I kind of like the folded look better, like, where is the other one? I don't even know what I've done right now. That one, I kind of like how it like folds in, it looks more enclosed. I kind of like that better and it's a bit thinner as well. And that way anyway, the extras I can um, use as collage, not like the extra edges it could cut off. So I'm just going to go down the edges actually because I'll be using these. Right, so I think this is going to be the top, so I'm just trying to use this up so that I get that cool design on the um, top. And I'm mumbling, I know I'm mumbling guys, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here just mumbling away. I hope you can hear me and like I wasn't too quiet for you <laughs> I'm just sitting here like mumbling to myself uh, so I'm just gonna put these blobs up here as well there we go so yeah so we fold it up like this so I might actually put a wee drop mirror on here I'll fold it up like that, so I'm at, I'm just going to put some more on here. <laughs> Especially like this side because this is the side that's going to show the most. guys that is my PGs this is just no really much on here because this is the inside that's the other side I love it I'm going to actually get a picture of that for the thumbnail obviously my painted fingers are on the road but I don't care so maybe I should just bring it right down mm, no I'll bring it up take the picture hang on I wish my fingers were not painted though that's alright. There we go. Um, oh, I really want to see what this looks like though when it's a uh, roll, roll, roll. Let me see what this one looks real. Oh my god, I cannot speak, guys. Right, how am I going to do this? Because this would have been a lot easier if I, had, I knew where my brail was. But I don't, so. So I'm going to just go around try and get as much covered as I can and then where am I going to stamp it though? I'll just stamp it on this. Oh, I'm scared. Ooh! 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 That's actually quite cool. 
Ooh, look at that. I like it. Some more black paint. I'm really not want to use all this black paint though, because I want to um, do that image transfer thing when I find my braille. But I'm liking this. Go on, get yourself potato mashers and have fun with them. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Go on. I see he's all going out and buying potato mashers now. <laughs> that is cool. I like that. I'm just going to push it to the other side so that it... Oh, I need to use this on my jelly print plate. That is cool. That is a cool effect. Like, I've not seen anybody trying this before. <laughs> probably, there's like probably a hundred videos of people doing it, but that is cool. I was just in the kitchen, I'm like, what can I use that I don't usually use in the kitchen? Oh, potato masher. Let's give that a go. Look around the house, see what you can find to do some stamping with. Right, and I know I'm getting more ink on the table, but I'm And look at that, look how cool that looks as well. Granted, there's a lot of paint here, but. Do you know what? It's so bad. This is busy as it is, but I just want to see if I can get any more of this. Yeah, not much. Oh, well. Yeah, I like it, guys. I really, really like that. Um, so there we go. That's the red one. You can see that side's not that thingy because it's going to be put on the inside. And we have this, look at it, that's cool. It's cool, cool. So there you go guys, that's my uh, pages. So I'm just gonna Did I take a picture of that? I did. A lot of these I'll hold these up as well. Just do this. Put off here. And that way that it shows off here. Take the picture. There we go. Thumbnail picture. Alright guys, I hope you had fun watching me and like go out and get a go. Go and look around your house. You know, when I first started like crafting I thought oh god I need so many things I need this and it's so expensive and I need that but you know you, you start watching other videos and you learn that you don't need a lot of stuff to craft um, you know so just go and have a look around your house anything, anything at all anything, like it can be bottle caps it can be texture from a bottle um, you know the bottoms of the bottles uh, like, like, you know, like this. That would probably be a pretty cool stamp as well. Um, can lids. I don't know where my piece went. She's awful quiet. Uh, can lids, you know, um, lids from your deodorant cans, pen lids, um, cards, scrape some cards. 
um, corrugated um, corrugated card. I would get some of this as well. It's kind of bubbly. I don't know how well this will stamp. Well, let's have a look if I can get any paint on here and see. I know why stamp on my paper, so it's like I'll stamp on the end of the paper. Stamp on here, right? Um, this is just one of my box of chocolates. You know, it's kind of not perfect, but it gives a bit of a stamp. Oh, so that's getting a bit of texture as well. So anything really, just have a look around the house, see what we've got, and use it up. Anyway guys, I will speak to you soon. I'll be back soon. Mm, maybe not tonight, obviously, but tomorrow. Maybe I'll get a video up tomorrow showing you these finished. You know, in the little folders. Maybe I'll make more of these and use them as collage and the ATCs that I'll make to put in them. Or whatever, I'll, I'll show you anyway. I'll make something to put inside these and uh, maybe come on do a video like that. But yeah, I really like how they turned out. I need to just dry them properly now because they're still wet. But I'll speak to you soon guys. I hope you've enjoyed. And um, if you did enjoy, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know you've enjoyed it by commenting and let me know what you thought. Um, let me know, are you going to go and look for found objects? Um, let me know if you're going to do a video. If I inspired you to do a video and you're going to do one, let me know so I can come and watch it. And um, thanks again for watching me, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye!